welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, Natalie, and this is DeMarco, my fiance. <laughs> so, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that he actually proposed to me on his birthday. Well, yeah, yeah, on your birthday. Um, it was his birthday party. Um, and so a lot of people wanted to know just, for one, like, who is he? Because I feel like y'all see, like, pictures, videos, you know, and y'all see him, like, helping me with the building, with my business. And so I feel like not too many people have really just gotten to basically know him a little bit more. So I did make a post on my Instagram um, stating that we were gonna be doing a Q&A slash story time. So for the most part, everybody basically wanted to know the same thing, which is how did we meet? And so we're gonna just kind of focus on that question because literally that's what everybody wanted to know. And then other people, I think two or three other people wanted to know like how did we know that we were the one for each other basically and so i'm just gonna let him i'll let him tell the story about how we meet and then if he say it wrong then i'll come in and fix it okay I, first of all i'm not gonna say it wrong. <laughs> but uh so we met on the school bus in high school so uh, she was a freshman mm -hmm. i was a junior uh and we both rode the bus. She rode the bus because she was going home. I was actually going to a, like a uh, after program. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so we rode the bus together. And I think the very first time it was like a coincidental thing that we sat together on mm -hmm. the bus. But then like, I don't know who it was, but somebody <laughs> started making it intentional uh, that we sat together. And so it just kind of became a thing. And mm -hmm. then... Um, I ended up getting her number actually in high school and she had a boyfriend, but I didn't know. I never knew yeah. until, I guess, years later. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe, you know, once I found out that they had been together for some, I was like, oh, maybe that's why <laughs> she she stopped responding. Because, I mean, we would text. A but little, it was nothing even yeah, like. It would be like, a, what you doing? And she yeah. may respond and then I'm, and she may ask me and then we won't say nothing else. We just see each other on the bus. Yeah. And so it all started on the bus, but then um, we started following on social media. But, I mean, we never uh, flirted or anything because I knew that she had someone. And, and at the time, I had someone, too. Mm -hmm. And then, actually, ironically, so I used to drive for UPS. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I started delivering to her mom's house. And so I was delivering to her mom's house, and I'm looking, I'm like, I'm going to this house like often. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> when I'm going to a house a lot, I look at the name and be like, just to see if I mm -hmm. may know the person and say Natalie Carmona. And I'm like, what? And I'm, so, I'm like, dang, like, okay. Like, so this is where she stay. Mm -hmm. Like, this is this is where she stay at. And I was like, dang, like, that was my little, my little high school bus partner, you know, uh, bus from boo. high school, bus boo from high school. <laughs> they had a boyfriend. <laughs> and so, um, I mean, it was it was never nothing. I hardly ever seen her. I usually mm -hmm. just uh, uh, used to see her brothers. And then one day I did see her. And I was like, oh, hey, like, you know, like, it's good to see you. You know, like, uh, how you been? I think we just, mm -hmm. a little how you been and mm -hmm. stuff. And that was about it. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I think at that time, like, I became single. Mm -hmm. And I was still delivering to your mom's house. And I was single. And... Um, and then I started seeing you on social media, and then I seen your single pop out. <laughs> and so, you know, everybody, if y'all follow her on Instagram, y'all seeing her, she was showing mm -hmm. out when she that became was. single. She, mm -hmm. she was showing out. And so uh, it started real innocent as far as, like, DM play. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like a little, little, little hard eye here and there, you know, like, you know, because she was showing out. <laughs> she was showing out. And so... Uh, it was a little hard out here and there, and then mm -hmm. I seen her BBL video scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it scared the shit out of me because, I don't know. That she was know before, I though. Like, yeah, that was, what? That video was like yeah, it was before, before you became that was in 2020. Single. Yeah, it was before you became mm -hmm. single, and so... Um, or 2020. But it scared the shit out of me because, you know, I don't like blood. Yeah. I'm scared. I don't know. Blood is just... Ugh. And so... Um, 
Yeah, I think we just we was just flirting back and forth or whatever, mm -hmm. and you know uh, we both kind of like timid people, mm -hmm. so it's like are they flirting just just playing around or mm -hmm. like is we really fooling with each other? And so then, I, I want to think that I kind of like you know I think one day I kind of like took a big shot, and it was I think I was it when I was in Austin. I think so. So I went on a solo trip to Austin by mm -hmm. myself. She didn't believe me, but mm -hmm. I went on a solo trip to Austin by myself. It was just, I had just got back off of uh, military duty. I had mm -hmm. been gone for a month. And I was like, you know, I'm going to treat myself to, and go on a little trip just by myself. At first, my brother was supposed to come with me, but he mm -hmm. bailed on me, like always. But mm -hmm. anyways, uh, but he bailed on me. And so I ended up going by myself. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm still going. I'm going to just go and hang out by myself and enjoy myself. And uh, and so I was like, you know, when I, I, I we was talking on Instagram and she said that I should have brought her. <laughs> she said that I should have brought her because I told her that I was by myself. Because when you were in Austin, was I in L.A.? Were I, was I in L.A.? No, when I got back from Austin, you went oh, to L.A. Oh, I went to L.A. Yeah, okay. like as soon as I got back, I think you may have been in L.A. for a couple of days okay. already. And so, um, so, yeah, when I got back from Austin, or no, while I was in Austin, she was she was like, I should have took her or whatever, and I was like, I was like, girl, whatever, you are not, you are not gonna come, <laughs> and so she was like, yes, I would have, yes, I would have, and I was like, okay, well, next time w when we both get back to Little Rock, let's link, mm -hmm. and so literally like we, so when she got back, like literally the day that she got back from LA we like met up went to drop off yes. my suitcase and we went out yeah we we're supposed to be uh going to Tzatziki's uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if if y'all have Tzatziki's mm -hmm. elsewhere but it's a Mediterranean restaurant healthy restaurant um and they were closed when we got there and so we ended up going to Pie Five Pizza yeah and so uh we had a pizza and we were sitting there talking for like to hours. The, for like three hours <laughs> like until they close and you mm -hmm. the way we was talking you would think like we had been I mean we knew each other but like yeah. we never had like a serious conversation mm -hmm. of course when we were still on the bus like she was hella shy mm -hmm. she was shy like she was super shy and I, you know, I was shy too so we were just sitting each other <laughs> sitting by Mom. each other not really talking <laughs> you know we may ask how was your day at school right. <laughs> uh, but we like talk for a while and then like after that like we seen each other every day literally like literally like the next day we was like you know what you doing today right. yeah so uh then i think the second day we we were supposed to go to dave and busters i asked her to go to dave and busters and she flaked on me and so she flaked on me she was supposed to she was because she uh, a friend uh had hit her up and wanted to go mm -hmm. to uh uh to Tim, a bar. Yeah, go to a bar uh, downtown. So uh, she was like, you know, I feel bad, you know, but you can you can come. And in my head, I'm thinking like, I'm just not a big fan of like Dave and Buster's and stuff. It just be too many people in there. But it would have been fun. Yeah. You know, I'm awful for fun. Yeah. But so we didn't go. <laughs> I ended up going to the bar, mm -hmm. and then we got to the bar. And and she went outside to go to go smoke, and so <laughs> I'm sitting there like, man, like what's really going on? Like, first she flaked on me, then now she's got me sitting here at the bar by myself. So I'm thinking, honestly, I thought that she was gonna leave mm -hmm. after after she left, and so I'm like, shoot, I'm just gonna sit here like I've been here by myself chilling. And so I'm sitting there, I, I think I even ordered another drink. Really? Yeah. And so and she came back, and then like. Um, we left, and we sat and talked to sat and talked in the car till like two in the morning. Like I had to be up at six. Mm -hmm. No, I had to be up at like five, 5 a.m. Yeah. Cause I I uh I had military duty, and I was on active duty orders. And so, I, I and she was like, you know, like I know you gotta be up early, and I was like. I was like, nah, I'm good. I do this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm good. I do this. And, I don't do that, but but I I was doing it or whatever. And I remember I of, had to pee so bad, like so bad. Yeah. And I just did not want us to stop talking. Yeah. I ain't got that. I don't know. You like like I said, like we was having like the. I, I feel like the thing that that pulled me into into you was 
like the conversations we were having, like it wasn't no like just typical what's your favorite color? Like <laughs> we was having deep conversations as if we had known each other. Like mm-hmm. we was talking about business and like what we looked forward to in life and like mm-hmm. like having real conversations. I guess basically not wasting time. Yeah. And so I think that that was one of the things that pulled me into you because I enjoy any I'm pretty sure a lot of people enjoy those mm-hmm. deep intellectual conversations like like there's like no filter behind it like everything is just raw. Yeah. And uh and I, honestly since that day like like I said like we've seen each other every day like even after that conversation like mm-hmm. I mean to to me is to me I enjoyed it because it had been before anything became intimate. Yeah. Like we hadn't we hadn't kissed yet. We hadn't had sex you yet. You kissed like, me that night. Yeah, that night. Yeah. But it was you know we had already had that deep conversation. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't a it wasn't it wasn't something that felt like an obligation because you know yeah. how once people become intimate, it's like okay, we got to talk now. Yeah. It's like we was already having those conversations. So I feel like that we both came to each other with the mm-hmm. right intentions. Yeah. Uh, we we um, like I think like t- like after that conversation maybe after the next day like I had cut off everybody <laughs> <laughs> like I was like okay I'm all in like uh-huh. and then, I mean that's just me like once and this I, was what day two yeah like I'm talking about I I stopped t- like some people I may pay the respects and it's like you know like we can't talk no more but most people I just ghosted but I ain't trying to make it seem like I was just talking to hell of people but. But you know, but uh, but yeah, I mean, if I, I would say that the thing that drew me to you was 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 your mind and the your your um, your goal your goal orientation like you mm-hmm. you were goal oriented like even though even though you know I I knew I I mean everybody know I knew I knew that she was in a in a better place than than I was at the time and I mean that didn't that didn't scare me that didn't that didn't, I mean most men would be feared by that but it didn't bother me because of who she was like she still was like this humble person you know and she didn't she didn't ever make me feel like that I was less than her and uh you know I feel like I do that with everybody yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's and that's just how that's how it should be. And then just the fact that you know you you had accomplished so much, but you know you you still had goals that we could talk about, mm-hmm. like things that 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 we could do, and like we was talking about doing stuff together and what we could do. And yeah, we literally <laughs> were like what a few maybe like the first two weeks. I don't even know when, but. Like, we had just started talking, like, just started talking, y'all, and we were already about to go buy a building. This is not this building, but it was another building. And just what? This week. Just this week, mm-hmm. we stopped and looked at the building because we looked at it and we were like so ex- We were both so excited because mm-hmm. we were like, look, like we can split the building down the middle. Like one side will be my nail shop. The other side of the building will be your gym. gym. <laughs> and we we're so excited. We called the number and they were like, because uh, the building had been up for sale for yeah. like a like months probably even over a year and so we're like you know like we can get this building um and this be our business and so we called and they're like up it's under contract and so (laughs) i didn't believe it just the type of person i am like no like can't be true because how like what a coincidence that like Mm -hmm. it's been for sale for for a year and now that we want to look at it now it's for sale so we actually stopped by the building uh this just this week and Mm -hmm. it actually was um um like an actual business there, mm-hmm. but literally from the very beginning, we were already talking about starting a business, doing this, doing that, and I think um, that's definitely one of the things too that I really, really liked about you because I feel like, like you said, like people don't usually like sit there and like have conversations like that mm-hmm. about the future is just especially like when they're like. I feel like so many people just want to date just so they can like mess around, you know, or it's mm-hmm. just about the sex or they just want to travel and, you know, like, which there's nothing wrong with that. But like 
when you're business oriented, it's like, okay, like we still have, we can still do all of that. Like mm. we still travel, we can have fun, but what about the business? Mm. And so I feel like when we did, like when we made it official, I feel like you weren't in the best position and I wasn't in the best position either mm -hmm. at all and so that was one of the questions that somebody asked was like um basically um how did you what was it how did you know that that you were the one for me or that you know I was the one for you mm -hmm. and and I guess I'll go first this time and so I think for me like just I, I feel like from the very beginning like I feel like I came into the relationship with so many like toxic habits like so many mm -hmm. just because it was so many things that to me was okay like you know like whether it was the way that I talked to you whether it was some of the things that I did and mm -hmm. to me it's like what's wrong like mm -hmm. I didn't do anything like what's wrong with me saying that or what's mm -hmm. wrong with me doing that and it was just because I had been I don't know it's just the way that I was wired mm -hmm. and so I think just the fact that you were so like patient with me and like so willing to like not necessarily like like not judge me but trying to like teach me the right way whether you know like with communicating like to mm -hmm. me like I was always like and I feel like even now I still may do it every now and mm -hmm. then like I just shut down like I'm not about to go back and forth like we're not about to argue <laughs> like you know like whatever and so I feel like I was like that uh, like I had a bad and so like you came in and you basically were like no like this is <laughs> what we're not gonna do you know we're gonna sit here and talk about it and we're gonna find a solution and we're gonna get over it mm -hmm. and we're gonna move on and you know like be happy again mm -hmm. and so I feel like that's one of the biggest things for me because I feel like I used to hold so much in before. And so now it's like, now that I'm able to like, hey, you know, like X, Y, and Z, and this is bothering me, and this is how we're gonna fix it, and then this is how we're gonna move on. I feel like you brought so much, like, I don't wanna look at you because now I'm gonna start crying, <laughs> but I feel like you brought like so much peace into my life. And so much like happiness and I feel like I almost like I don't know I feel like so fast I did like a whole 360 mm. just like personally and like yeah like personally and then like even with my business like mm. you helped me so much and I was always like stuck in my ways I feel like that was my thing like I was so stuck in my ways <laughs> when it came to so many different things y'all and so like even with my business I've always been so big on like if you want something done right you have to do it yourself and I like could nobody tell me otherwise like I know what I'm doing and my way is right <laughs> and you don't know what you're doing because you know you don't know what you're talking about and I feel like he came in and was like what if we do this what if we do that and what about this what about that and since then we because if you guys remember like I didn't used to keep my website open year round like I would open it like every month every two months every three months <laughs> and so then he's like what if we just keep it open like year round like every day 365 mm -hmm. days and I was like no like that's too much I don't have time for that like and so even like with my business like we've been able to grow a lot and even like now with this building like we're gonna be able to grow it even more mm -hmm. and so I feel like basically I feel like I'm talking a lot but basically <laughs> but basically um I knew that he well I feel like there were so many different things that just made me like realize like dang like this gonna be my husband <laughs> because for one you, he fine as hell that's for one <laughs> but then two I feel like we had the same like 
goals in life you know like we want to be successful and it's not just like oh like you know I'm gonna be successful I'm gonna have money I'm gonna, no like we're actually like both putting in the work to get somewhere and we both have that same drive that same motivation and even like I feel like even though we did have a lot of things in common he even had like a lot or have a lot of things that I look up to like your discipline like if the if the package like if the little bag of candy say you can only have three, he gonna only have three. <laughs> Me, <laughs> I'm gonna have the whole bag. <laughs> and so like it's like you know it's like so many different things that he do that I look up to, and that like I feel like he keep me motivated with personal goals, with business goals, and just so many different things. Mm. But yeah. Okay. So what, what what was it? How did you know that I was the one? Mm. How did I know that you was the one? Uh, I kind of said, well, no, I, I didn't. Say, it was it was a lot of things that I wanted to say when I proposed, but I, I was so nervous. I swear, <laughs> I tried to get so fucked up before we got here. <laughs> But it still didn't help. It was like you were it, pretty tipsy when we got yeah, here. Yeah, I tried, but it was like when it was showtime, like the the, the whole buzz went away. Like, really? Yeah, it's like because I I didn't want to cry, uh -huh. but it's just like when I talk about you or, or when I think about mm -hmm. what we've been through and and what we've made it through, mm -hmm. like it it makes me emotional. But I would just say that what 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 made me know that I was the one when I met Natalie like she know like and I, I was honest with her about everything you know from jump like you know she she know that when we met like I wasn't in the best position financially or emotionally or uh, spiritually physically like mm -hmm. I just I was in a bad place um, I had just well, not just gone through a breakup, but I, uh, I mean, it was still trauma to me, uh, the breakup, as far as just if anybody have kids and they know how, you know, hard it is as far as, far as when you break up with somebody that you have a kid with. Um, but, you know, it's for the best. But, um, you know, and then just uh, my business uh, wasn't going the way that I imagined it to. And that was because. Uh, the military was kind of uh, stepping in the way of that, uh, just because my availability was low because I was uh, trying to double up, mm -hmm. um, and so you know I, I was honest with her at the beginning, and you know, and and she stuck with me. You know, she she didn't say, well, you know, well I got this, you know, so I need you to have this, you know. It, she didn't she didn't she didn't put those those burdens on to me and making me feel as if as if I was less than because of the current position that I was in and um, you know she 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 continued to ride with me she you know but by, by the stuff that we talked about you know she she knew that that I I could get myself out of it but you know and, and she had that faith in me mm -hmm. and you know whereas you know, if she could have been like, he just talking. He, ain't, you know, he, mm -hmm. he ain't, you know, because I mean, a lot of times nowadays people just be talking. But, you know, I feel like that, you know, from the beginning, I felt that that she seen something in me that mm -hmm. I didn't even see just yet. Mm -hmm. You know, I was I was kind of blind to that vision, and, and just the way that 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 she take pride in me being her man. Like, y'all know, like she gonna say like. My man, my man, my man, my man, my man. But now it's my fiance. She got my fiance, y'all. And and, and I, I I cherish that because you know, as a man, we, you know, a lot of things that we do go unnoticed, or we may feel like it go unnoticed. But she gonna make sure that the things that I do and the work that I'm doing, even if I feel like that I'm not in the position that I'm in or the position that I feel like I deserve because of the work that I'm doing. She so gonna make sure that that I feel appreciated and that, you know, that, you know, that to, to, to keep believing, mm -hmm. you know, you, you put that in me to keep believing you, 
you keep believing in you know what I'm doing and and the work that I'm putting in and uh, you know I feel like when I when me and you when I found you like like I found a friend I found a, a partner I found a lover I found somebody that I know that's gonna be with me forever like no matter what like I know through thick and thin mm-hmm. like she gonna have my back and I know that you know. I, I told I was I was talking to my friends and I was telling them you know <clears throat> as men you know a lot of times men do you know have disciplinary issues as far as when it comes to having that 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 discipline and that uh, self control to to you know I mean like we talk about all the time there's people that I find attractive there's people that she finds attractive but once you but once you find that person that that makes you have that mindset in your mind that like that you can never like you can never disrespect mm-hmm. that person like you 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 can never you know you you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to have to uh explain to this person that why you did this or why mm-hmm. you did that it's like you just you grow that level of respect for a person and once once I felt that you know I, I never she know I never cheated on her <laughs> or never did anything because just from the beginning like I always respected her just as a person because she deserved it and you know even at the beginning of our relationship when things were hard because because of her past traumas I always told her from the jump like like I see better in you, and mm-hmm. and I and I tell her like when I when when I talk to you about something or we have a conversation, it's never coming to you sideways or it's never me trying to change who you are. It's just because that I know that you're a great person. Like I see that in you, mm-hmm. and so um, I think. What, what was the question? <laughs> am I am I answering the question? <laughs> How did you know that I was the one? You basically yeah. So yeah, I I knew she was the I knew she, I knew she was the one because you you I feel like as a man I don't care what y'all say we know we know when we found the one we know when we have a good woman because good women don't y'all all y'all women out there can say y'all a good woman but <laughs> you crazy we we know when when a good woman comes into our life because for one. Good women don't come as often as we may think. We may think that there's good women everywhere, but there's not. And I feel like that God gives you one chance with a good woman, and either you capitalize on that chance or you fold. Mm-hmm. And it'll never. You may you may get something close to it, but I promise it's gonna be that one good mm-hmm. woman that you're going to get that will be perfect for you. And either you're going to keep it or you're going to mess it up. And I I kept it. I kept it. So uh, I definitely think that she was my good woman from God. I think that God sent her to me. Uh, I, we say that, well, I think sometimes we say that, you know, may, y'all may think like maybe she should have been single longer. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, I feel like, I feel like that. I feel like that the timing of everything was was God's doing. Like it wasn't like nothing was forced. It wasn't like you know uh, I forced anything upon her. Like everything that me and Natalie did, like like it flowed easily. Like like nothing was ever forced between us. I feel like we've been so comfortable with each other like since the beginning. Yeah, and so that's I feel like that that's how you know that that this was God sent. Mm-hmm. Like. It couldn't be. It couldn't be nothing less than mm-hmm. just, just literally, God putting two people together that are a union. Because it's like we say all the time, like she think my thoughts, I think her thoughts. Like I be about to say something, <laughs> and she literally be about to say the same mm-hmm. thing, or I'll be thinking something sometimes, and she'll say it, and I'm like, what the hell? Like I was literally just thinking <laughs> that, and so it's like I'm like we're literally connected, mm-hmm. like. Like this, my person, right. and I knew this was my person because this is my person. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, so we <laughs> are now engaged, and 
I told him I was going to get him one because I don't <laughs> think, I really just do not think that it's fair that we get to walk around with a ring, but then yeah, they get to walk around without one until the wedding day. So I said I was going to buy him one, but I'm not going to wear it, Oh, but whatever. But <laughs> um, the only other thing that people were asking about was the actual engagement party. I know this video is a lot longer than we were expecting it to be, it's okay. but it's OK. And <laughs> so, yeah. So how did how did it come about? So so at first so at first I was thinking uh, of doing something for the 4th of July because I, I know we always get together and we always do something mm -hmm. but n me and her are literally together all the time so I knew that the only way that I could pull that off is if I like hire somebody to plan it mm -hmm. and then like they contact my mom like mm -hmm. if they have any questions but that still would have been hard because there still would have been some questions that directly needed to be answered by yeah. me and she knows that I'm never on my phone. Like, I'm never texting nobody. I don't have no friends. Like, nobody ever <laughs> texts me. And so she know, like, if I'm over there, like, texting away, like, she's going to be like... I'm like, who are you talking to? Yeah. And so it's it's not even, like, suspicion if I'm texting somebody, but it's just like, what you doing? Right. You know what I mean? Because I'm never on my phone uh, as far as, like, texting anybody or anything like that. But uh, so I decided that for my birthday... I'm like, okay, I know Natalie, she's a surprise freak. I'm Blue's she, Clues, y'all. I knew it. She, well, I, I'm saying she's a surprise freak. Like, she loves surprises, and she mm -hmm. loves doing things for people. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so I, I told my mom, I said, I need you to get Natalie to you and her plan me a surprise birthday party. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it'll be a surprise birthday party, but... It's actually going to be the engagement party. Mm -hmm. So I was like, and it's just like me, typical me, to give somebody else my birthday. <laughs> but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and so, I, but I just feel like that if she was involved, if she was involved, then it would kind of keep her mind away from me because she thinking that she being sneaky. But then, but I'm being sneaky too. <laughs> and so at the, towards the end, that's when it got difficult because, then we both was being real sneaky. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, because, you know, I'm being sneaky because they need me, you know, and then she being sneaky. I am I told her she's horrible liar. <laughs> she, she can never lie to me. Uh -huh. The stuff she was, like, I asked her, I asked her, she, she was going with her best friend, and I asked her, you know, what did they end up doing? She said, eat. I didn't know what else to say, and I was stressed out at the time. I was like, I'm going to leave her alone because she, <laughs> she just said eat. Like, she didn't, she didn't say a restaurant or nothing. Then. No, because, y'all, like, and then, so, like, the whole time I'm thinking, like, okay, like, well, the only thing that I was in charge of was the decoration for the tables. That's all I was in charge of. And so, like, I'm stressed out because it's like, okay, I, I don't want to make it too girly. I want to make sure that I make it masculine. But I did have a feeling that he was going to be proposing just because I knew that there, like, of course, we had the conversation about, like, us wanting to get married and all that good stuff. And so, like, I knew that there was a ring. It was just a matter of, like, when he was going to pop the question. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it was a few things here and there where they slipped up and, like, said, like, his brother said something a few, like, twice. His dad asked, because his dad doesn't stay in town. So his dad, I think, called and he was on speaker. Well, I need to book my flight for Yeah, he was talking about booking a flight and then you said the 25th so i was like that's that no, saturday he before said the, he said the, the 25th, 25th. Okay. he was like is it the uh is it the 25th and then he froze he like <laughs> is and I, I i i knew i knew that she had a clue mm -hmm. because she thinking like it'll be different if they was asking her yeah but it's like why they asking me right you know what I mean? She so she so it, it's gonna make a person think. It's yeah. like at first, the first time, it's like okay, maybe he slipped up and accidentally said something to him. But then my dad calling and asking me a date when they probably ain't even told yeah. my daddy yet, <laughs> and so mm -hmm. it was like I I had a I had a feeling in my gut that she had some kind of suspicion, but she she didn't bite on it. But then like once it got closer to the end. I was like, I don't know. She may have a slight clue. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I'm not going to ruin it. 
because I don't know when else I would do it. Yeah. And I was ready to get out the way because yeah. it was running my nerves up. <laughs> <laughs> and too, like, I feel like it was so many different little things that gave it off, but I didn't want to say nothing either because then it was, I didn't want to ruin it. And so like a part of me was like, did I ruin it for myself? Because no, I know like that, I, that it's happening. But then it was like, I was more excited to like, okay, like I know it's happening, but I want to know how. And so like now my mind is going crazy. Like, is he going to do it? Like as soon as we walk in the door and then now I feel like, okay, I think I'm planning my engagement. So now I want two dozen of roses on each table. <laughs> and like now I feel like then I, once I had that feeling, I was like, okay, like, I'm going to do it how I want it. And then when I sent Jennifer the picture, and she was like, no, that looks too romantic. Because I didn't know that my sisters knew. Apparently, everybody knew. Yes. Except for me. Like, I had a clue. But even then, like, I'm a huge overthinker. And so I'm thinking, like, maybe I'm just overthinking. Maybe I'm crazy. And, like, it was I a few times. I wonder if it would have went better if I never told anybody. And just had everybody thinking that it was a surprise uh -huh. birthday party. And yeah. nobody knew that it was an engagement party. Probably. But me and my mom. Probably. You want to do it over? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would have went way better. But I, I just feel like that. I just feel, I just feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like that because I want people to dress up. Mm. And so, like, for a birthday party, you know. Like, yeah, because even, like, Kennedy, she was uh, she was like, uh, what are you wearing? I, and I showed her my dress. And she was like, girl, I was going to wear some jeans or whatever. And, like, even my friend, like, she said, my Whitney said she was going to wear, like, you know, just casual clothes. Mm -hmm. And like, I wanted people to dress up too, but mm -hmm. I feel like me putting the picture of you in your suit that, and like just the way the invitation looked mm -hmm. that they would know like, okay, like I need to dress up, but maybe I should have put like a, you know, the tire on the Formal invitation. Attire, yeah, but yeah. throughout, I mean, everything, he kept pointing out things like my song wasn't playing and this didn't happen. But to me, it was, it was perfect to me because if he would have never told me, I would have never known, but everything was perfect for me. Um, and yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, like, uh, I had to ask her today, do she still love me? Because she, she be looking at that <laughs> ring more than she look at me now. No, I don't. <laughs> I just still, like, at first I still couldn't, like, the first day, like, that mo well, that morning after, I woke up and I'm, lit like, I went to sleep with it first off. And I woke <laughs> up and I'm just like, and so just know I'm going to fiancé y'all to death. And what was the other one? And, it rolled and off show so y'all my ring. What? When you say they roll my off, my fiance. Yeah, it it rolled don't even feel so forced. But <laughs> yeah, so that is our story. So you guys will be seeing more of my fiance in my videos. Um, but if you guys don't, just know that he's behind the scenes at all time, whether it's behind the camera, fulfill fulfilling you guys' orders, like. We literally do everything <laughs> together. So um, definitely look forward to spending the rest of my life with this man. And so I'm really, really excited. I'm super happy. And of course, I just want to also take the time out to just thank everybody for all of your sweet comments. Um, it really means a lot to me and to him and just all of the love and support that you guys have shown me because if you've been following me from the beginning you guys know that we've been through a lot yeah. a lot <laughs> and you guys have definitely watched me grow like i was literally what still in high school when i started my youtube channel so you guys have definitely watched me grow and it's just so uh bittersweet to just be able to ex you know just to um what am i trying to say to share my life yeah, my life journey. literally my journey yeah. with you guys you know the good the bad the ugly and i just am very thankful for everybody that has stuck around to just watch me grow so um again you guys will be seeing more of both of us now i look forward to sharing all of the details about the wedding planning and all that good stuff here <laughs> not soon because i still need it i still need this to kind of like sink in, sink in. but I'm going to take my time. We're not just like in a super huge rush to, 
you know, yeah, we up are, and get. I'm trying to get you to Jamaica. Oh yeah, so we are in a rush. So <laughs> I don't know. We we don't know, y'all. We don't even have a date just yet. We're it's still up in the air. Um, but we definitely look, or I look for. We look forward to just start a whole. It's definitely a whole new journey, y'all. Like I'm grown. I feel so grown. Like literally the day after, I was like, I feel like this officially officially makes me grown because I I feel like even though I've accomplished so much in life at 26, I still fe felt felt like a teenager. <laughs> like like literally, I still feel like a teenager. But I feel like now it's like damn, like I'm actually grown. Like <laughs> I'm and a grown ass woman. right. <laughs> and so now like it's like I want to shop for like. Like now, I feel like I want to change my whole like wardrobe. You know, <laughs> but, can we sell some stuff first? Yes, we can. <laughs> but yeah, so again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to our story time slash Q and A video. Um, anything else you need to say? We engaged. We are. I don't got no see, look, I need to get you one. <laughs> no, I'm not going to But I will see you guys next time. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.